hands out in front of you and just relax them. Okay. And we'll see that winds up and it also involves the left one sometimes. I'm going to see if that's done good. The left one looks pretty good today, huh? Yeah, the other guy's misbehaving though. Okay. Everything's shaking. <laughs> yeah, see that. Okay. okay, again? Yes, a little faster. Okay, I'm going to just share some thoughts with you about this patient. It is clear from my examination that uh, she does not have a cerebellar ataxia. Uh, what she does have, however, is a basal ganglionic tremor. And uh, we are going to treat her appropriately for that tremor. We're going to use a, uh, the biokinetics protocols. And uh, we're going to, I'll show you, I'll come back shortly and show you the results of that treatment. We're here just after her adjustment. How did your adjustment go? Easy. Good. 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 Uh, I want to show the quick the blind spots. If you can see, we got good change. The, the red is before, the green is after oxygen, and the blue is after the adjustment. Uh, so you can see that. And I'm going to have you put your hands out in front of you. Hold them. Now, put your hands over and over like that. Okay, stop. Now bring your right hand in, close your eyes, bring your right hand in, touch the tip of your nose. Okay, now the other side. Okay, now now uh, do the right one in slower. All the way to the tip. Okay, now, good. Okay, now put it down. Okay, that last treatment was on a Friday. She presented herself again to me on Monday morning and the following are her comments uh, that she made to me before treatment on Monday morning. How about the shaking? How's that? Am I shaking? No? no. I, after how many years? I don't know how many years. Well, many, many years. The accident to... happened 30 years ago, so... Wow, and uh, you're still holding. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to you. And um, big surprise, I could read the line of music and the words and go to the second, third, and fourth verses during mm -hmm. Sunday church service. And, and I had not been able to read more than the first line for two years. Wow. Because it all just jumbled together on me and I couldn't figure out, so I had to get out of choir. When singing in a group, like congregation singing, you have to function fast enough to be in the same place where everybody else is, you know? Right. So it speeded up something you, Yeah, inside. your brain has to be processing at a speed. Exa exactly. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it's it's a hopeless thing to be out of sync with the rest. <laughs> well, great. Um, okay, good. I'm, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs>